Hi, this is just a little um, screencast which talks you through the finding of class reports and comparisons which are sent out for um, which are sent out to parents and you can also see how the students in your class have been going so um, what what I've what we've got here as I've logged into elementary school the same works at, the same thing works at uh, middle school as well and what I want to do is go to class rosters, which is there. Double click, and we are looking at spring 2013. So I submit that, and then um, you choose the class that you want to have a look at. So there we go. There, I want to fall to spring. I want to do that comparison there, and the type of report that I want to generate is both. Okay. And then you can either uh, click on an individual student like this here, and so that will give me the student Myers um, uh, results here. What what we're seeing here is um, we're seeing the uh, student growth. It compares with typical student growth, and we've got a percentile here. So obviously the students are very uh, a pretty high achieving student. Uh, we also get there um, her RIT score which is t for mathematics is 232. The district average RIT here is the CA average. Okay and then this average here is the average test of the total sample of students who are who are doing um, maps throughout the world? Basically, that's a U.S. sample and and international and international schools. So we and then and this is explained a little bit there. And here we can see now. You can see this uh, represented graphically. And we've got here the blue line there. The student here she goes is projected. So she's above the students above um, the school average, which is a yellow line there, the, the orangey line, and here's the the norm throughout the world, and here's reading, and 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 it's a bit of a breakdown of, of units there too. Okay, so that's an individual student, and to get the whole class, uh, all we do is we click on the class name there. And we get we get to see that there. So obviously, the students done a lot of growth in, as far as mathematics is concerned. Performed pretty well. Uh, reading good growth there, uh, and good growth in language usage too. And you'll see that that is represented on on this graph. So last year they took a bit of a dip, and then back up there. And, and here we, you can track what they're doing there. It's a pretty interesting graph there to have a look at. And if you scroll down through there, you can see um, the results for the, the varying students there. What, what you do see, and I've, I've talked to a number of teach, teachers about this, at the beginning level, third grade, I think there's... Um, Far more of a variation in, in in scores from from one testing session to another in terms of there are variables that that are evident in third grade performance, but but in general the the trends um, are reasonably accurate there and good indicators of of some degree of progress. So that's obviously that's something that we want to work on more next year, analysing this data. But but um, I know that. Um, People are busy at this time of year, but um, if you want to have a look at um, these sorts of trends with your students um, as a result of the recent map testing, that's how you do it. Thank you.